Hi guys, in this video I will show you the uh, new denoiser that we introduced in Garia 2.2. Um, that's the Intel Open Image Denoiser. Um, so what I've got, I've got a pretty simple asset uh, from one of my demonstration thin and um, it's it's set up with a really low quality renderer uh, settings, uh, not that much samples and a really, really tolerance uh, I adaptive threshold. So um, why do I need to make it work? Um, I'm gonna uh, change the filter to get a tri uh, an FES filter, which in my case is gonna be the triangle one. So let's set it up, triangle FES. And the other setting I need, it's I'm gonna add two technical AOVs that's gonna help the uh, Dano either. So I'm gonna need an albedo AOV and a normal camera AOV. So I'm gonna go here, setting albedo and adding a new AOV and this one is gonna be the normal cam. But um, I wanna compare uh, between before and after. So I'm gonna add another one, which is gonna be a beauty one. And I'm gonna call this one beauty noisy. And I'm gonna uncheck the denoise one. So the first beauty is gonna be denoise because it checked. And this one is not gonna be denoise because it's unchecked. Of course, I need to set up my denoiser to be the, uh, I'm gonna go to the Intelable image denoise and I'm gonna start my render. And you can enter my fridge, which is running. Okay, so I wanna compare the two AOVs. I can do that. I'm gonna check the uh, B here. So right now at left, I've got my render pass met. At right, I've got also my render pass. And I'm gonna unlock my settings and I'm gonna pick the beauty noisy. And as you can see, I can compare the difference between the denoise one and the noisy one. And as you can see, it worked pretty well, uh, even with uh, normal uh, with uh, normal um, information I've got uh, in my object. That's that's uh, was interest of getting the uh, normal camera and the albedo uh, to feed the denoiser is gonna understand that this part uh, here is not noise. That's something I need. That's my I need to use that to get my final image. Well. So that's that's really a, that's an easy denoiser to set up. So let's talk about rendering. Uh, in the new version of Gaia, we integrate Intel Embry, and I want to demonstrate you how fast uh, Embry is. So in my example, I use the uh, brand new version of uh, Intel that they uh, share with us. Uh, that's an 8280 uh, by Xeon Platinum with 28 core per CPU. Uh, it's a wonderful machine and uh, that's the machine that I use for my example. So in my example, I did a little uh, setup. In my left side, I've got the uh, previous version of Gera without Embry. In the right version, I've got the uh, integrated version of Embry. And as you will see, the uh, Embry version uh, completes the render in uh, only 21 seconds, uh, which is not the case in the uh, previous version of Guria, which is uh, gonna uh, complete this render in uh, more than uh, 50 seconds. With the last version of, uh, of uh, Guria, we did some benchmark to uh, uh, compare uh, how we are right now from uh, the preserved version and with the integration of Embry. So with this uh, sample scene uh, from our uh, from uh, our friend of uh, Mice, uh, the small story project uh, that they share with us, uh, we gain 140% uh, of speed. And uh, with this uh, data set from uh, Walt Disney, thank you so much for sharing this, uh, this data set, uh, from the uh, previous version 2.1 of Guria with the uh, last version uh, 2.3 with the uh, integration of Embry, we go to 167 
uh, percent of performance.